ones that succeed and other, other times it's the quiet men. We've seen both those varieties, or I, I have over the last sort of 30 years. Seve, of course, nice to see him uh, coming back to something like his, his true form. Confidence plays such a major role in any sport. Now this is Seve who's putting for a birdie at uh, the first and uh, Seve back to form in the last few weeks which is wonderful to see. Oh yes, yeah, so the, the game needs Seve to be playing well and smiling and uh, sort of whacking the ball in, holding a few putts. A bit right to left this one. It'd be nice if he could hold this about 18 feet or so. Has he just got it right? Just not firm enough. A little more pace that would have gone in, but a nice... He's obviously had a nice drive, a good second. Very easy to drop a stroke at this opening hole. Now, how important is it for Bernard Gallagher, the, uh, the team captain, Ryder Cup team captain, to see the big names like Seve playing well? And Nick Faldo also has to start making an impression as well, doesn't he? Well, this is the 13th tournament of around that 13th tournament of the year and well certainly on paper make our side look a little bit weaker I mean you need these big names in Ballesteros here second shot uh, second hole tee shot well Seve here on the the second tee certainly getting himself back into contention for an automatic place in the Ryder Cup team mm. he's not the kind of player you'd leave behind anyway no no but then you know a, a few months or maybe a year or so ago you wouldn't have dreamt of leaving Sandy Lyle behind even though he's rather a mercurial sort of player and his Ryder Cup record isn't all that staggering but uh, Lyle on his day can beat anyone I mean it, it would be a delight if we could see him coming back to form Sandy has got to... second green Seve having shed the sweater now this little putt for a par three to stay at level par open ditch uh, Severiano two under just that one drop stroke three birdies in a row dead start no waggles Could have pulled that, I fancy. Oh, has he pulled it? Clattered in the bushes. Well. He's not all that far from the outer bounds. I think the uh, the silver birches will have knocked, knocked the ball down. But there's a, there's a ditch and all sorts of stuff up that left-hand side. Richardson, one over par. The golden touch is just... Uh, Deserted him at fraction at the moment. Oh, he gives it the full leather, doesn't he? Seve might be playing another one. That's a huge drive for Richardson. to have a, a driver that hits them on the fairway. They've got all sorts of wondrous shafts and materials they create that make the heads out of. But it ain't no good if you can't hit it on the fairway. There's a, a hidden little burrow he didn't spot. It'll be interesting to see whether our man Ollie hits this straight or at the left edge. Or I would think it's pretty straight. Straight and fun. think you went to the, it was coming a little bit but it was <coughs> near as damn it straight to the ninth 
Ballesteros with that unusually pool pool tee shot. He's <laughs> allowed to negotiate his way into the branches. And now he goes down the shaft. If he can get it... <laughs> it looks like he's having a bit of struggle there to get a position from which he can swing the club. He's not going to break anything. And he's only got a, a little back swing. He mustn't hit that wee tree, but he just got past it. And although he can come out of this still with a par, it's most likely that he's going to drop a shot here. Which is rather unfortunate. He's using that driver, a new driver with very little loft and at only seven degrees, which is quite small. He used to always play with nine degree clubs. Nice to see him back. So, win in Japan and nearly won the Spanish Open at a rather poor final round of 75 and then lost the playoff. So Ballesteros at the ninth. You can see the flag just to the right of the tower. Five or six, it's a six iron, I think, this for Sevi. Oh, now this is heading for a disaster. He misjudged it completely. in that bunker there so that's two of the players in the bunker unfortunately for Sevi of course he's in there for three and I'm sure the little bit of mistake there maybe the yardage or maybe he just didn't quite catch he was lying on the bear but new young caddy there with him doesn't seem too pressurized by it and we and it's just coming down the hill and quickly to the hill quite majestically and a four goes down on the card, and we have the decency. Do we to have a little wry grin? Oh, no, well, stuff it. <laughs> Two under par, would you believe it? Well, 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 I got a four. You get on and get yours. I think he must have enjoyed it, wasn't he? <coughs> Sevi also using the iron for safety. 15 or 20 yards to the right of that bunker up the left hand side is the, the sort of ideal line, the no risk line. And there's a fair bit of room out to the right. There's a bit of light rough on top of the hill there where Sevi's gone. But you've got to be lucky for it to really nestle. It's just. Uh, early grass one or two little tufts there and that's the the target they're aiming to pretty good crowds considering all things this ideal golfing day now Sevi's second shot six under par Beautiful smooth swing, but he looks a little disenchanted. He probably pulled it a bit. No, he hasn't indeed. He's come up come up short. Now whether that was a total misjudgment, he's certainly one club out or misjudged the uh, the power of the hit altogether there. So up there with Sevi Biasteros, who's just eagled uh, the twelfth. Uh, to go to 12 under par with Eamon Darcy, the Ryder Cup veteran who's right up there in some lofty company. 12 under par, and also Colin Montgomery, who's picked up three shots today. So a four-way tie for the lead at 12 under par. Then Jesper Parmovic, he's in the uh, clubhouse with a 65 today. Wayne Riley and Bernard Langer, they're the last pair out on the course, the overnight leaders. And Ian Woosnam, a round of 66 today, and he's right in it, just two shots off the lead but it's Faldo Ballesteros, Darcy and Montgomery sharing the lead at 12 under par. Now this is uh, Sevi at the 15th and we'll go off to our commentators Alex Hay and Peter Ratz. Thank you Steve a lovely lovely second shot from Ballesteros at the 15th chance for a birdie although it's drifting away Right there, please. On the corner. Still, never mind. This fellow will give you the nosebleed if he chases you, I tell you. 
but he is going very well. So be four under today, 12 under for the championship. And he's beginning to look a bit more like his old self. Played a good second, but it drifted off down the slope. Quite a long putt, eight, nine, ten yards up the hill. Fairly straight, a little bit of swing. leave myself up here cut. And another three. So Seve now leads 13 under. There are some uh, very good players close behind him. Here's young Steve just tapping his in for a four. Saris on the 16th. Quite a little bit of wind now coming up in, in, into the player's face. It's 160 yards to go, so he has, and it's a six iron. Looks to be online, gone left a little bit, but uh, we still have a putt there just off the uh, edge of the green. Back to the 16th, Seve. Seve and Steam Field. Seve, uh, he's got a nine iron or a wedge here. Wedge, I should think this is. And, well, usually these don't finish too far away. See that the pin's loose, lead. Oh! Gives it a bit of a fright. He's crossed now. Back to the 16th. Sebi's actually run past a, a missable distance. It's fascinating to watch the different mannerisms. Of course, the, the more famous the player, the more times you get, more chances you get to see their mannerisms. So you'll notice he's got this new putter out, similar sort of putter, not a centre shafted putter, but a, a putter with the shaft going to the heel end of the club. And you see the right forefinger down the shaft. He's standing up a little higher. He was getting a bit crouched. That's more like a nice, smooth little stroke. So that was a good four feet away. This was Seve's. He had the honour, went first. Applauding it. And applause, applause. But... There it is. Not bad. And still, ladies and gentlemen. Well, Seve's hit actually quite a good drive, but he's landed in a really rather unpleasant place, and it's an old divot, really, there. Tough to get to the bottom of the ball. He's going to have to chase, probably, this looks like a two-iron he's got there. Hard shot to hit, because, it, as I was saying, it's very tight, uh, even though it's uh, in quite fluffy grass, and they're certainly not going to get uh, anywhere near the green with this shot. Well, he's given it everything, but it's gone right a little bit. Uh, the, the lie really did make it a very difficult shot for him, and uh, he won't be pleased with that. His third shot. And you've just got to have a bit of good fortune if you're going to put shots uh, close to the pin from, from this particular area, because the green all slopes away. If you pitch it just too far short, it stops. Just too far on, it goes to the back of the green. 
played it very softly, landed it just too boldly, you see, it'll go to the back of the green. It happens every time and has done so for 40 years to my knowledge. 17th green, Seve for a birdie. because it doesn't really matter too much the birdies just come flowing along and that's the way he used to play I think he's beginning to enjoy it now 14 under par now here's a sight for all those who love beautiful golf swings Alisteros on the 18th tee at Wentworth. And another with no, no fives on the card and the flashing three at the 12 to signify the eagle. Now 14 under. Why always holding his hands high at the finish? He's trying to cut it round the corner. And there you saw the kick of the side spin. That's a beauty. Hit it just with a three wood. He didn't want to take on. There's a ditch further on down there. Sandy Lyle was only feet from it today. Very much in the hunt. Ballesteros' shot here. You can see just over the spectators' heads, that mass of spectators on the right. That's the route to the green. Uh, the bunker is just on the front left-hand edge of the green. Seve with a bit over 200 yards to go, near enough 220. He's going at it with a long iron shot here. Mike Houston's with it. Mike? Well, yes, uh, you're right, uh, Alex. He's got his long iron out, and uh, he's got about 250, just under 250 yards to go. And uh, it's a bit tight here, really, uh, as you were saying. And uh, he's got this long iron out on the basis that the wind is left to right here over his left shoulder really and he will be able to use the wind and uh, slide it round those trees and uh, to get towards the flag no he doesn't like that very much it's gone left very close to the bunker it's in yes, the bunker I guess you're absolutely right down there in the face of the bunker it went is most annoyed. The pin is quite a long way back, and that's the most difficult of bunker shots, sort of 30 yards down the green to the flag. Well, it's great to see Sevi playing so well, but he's now got a tough shot, uh, the kind of shot which us amateurs absolutely hate. He's got to pick the club up very quickly, because although the ball's uh, lying very well, uh, he's actually sitting, standing outside the bunker. He's got a shot of about 30 yards. This is a green which is, in fact, 40 yards long and it's cut the pin today 31 paces on so anyway this is the great man out of bunkers see if he can live up to his reputation oh, that's a pretty good shot he got a little heavier than he wanted uh, but he's still got a putt for a birdie and that the most difficult length of bunker shot when you have a lot of green to play up there's always a danger with a powerful swing hitting it thin and sending it off the far end now let's have a look at the awkward stance the blade open a lot of wrist action in the backswing he can't move any head position at all because he must get the most precise of heights of, uh, of accuracy down he comes across the ball no room to get through with a follow-through because of that bank. He's having to pull away from the shot. And possibly that hesitation took about eight yards off the flight of the ball. Now the 18th and Seve. Can he hold this for a fall? This is a funny little putt. It looks as if everything comes very much right to left. But we saw Felder from 
well, a bit nearer and not quite on this line, but the ball didn't come in the last sort of four feet. It, if anything, it just stayed out on the top side on the, our left as we look. Sevy's borrowed it. You see, that's taken the ball straightened up again at the end, and that's a fantastic finish. He's finished with two fours. Well, in all truth, in they, they, they could well have been two, two fives. He birdied the 15th as well, and that really is an amazing... Uh, round because uh, well, it all due really or much of it due to the magic putter in trouble but the, the putter is a great equaliser 33, 32, 65 having a look at the scoreboard to see where the others are and he sees at this moment he's three strokes clear